Hey, this is Taylor from the Brooklyn Kitchen. It's the 4th of July, America, so we're grilling out. We're gonna make some burgers from New York State grass-fed meat available at the Meat Hook. Let's go down to the Meat Hook and find out about ground beef from Tom Mylan. You know, you can do the whole thing where you're like, oh, it was this percentage short ribs and this percentage brisket and this percentage like sirloin and dry steak ends and stuff like that. But if, if it was ground three or four days ago, it's not going to taste nearly as good as something that was ground just a couple hours before you put it on the grill. We grind meat at the meat hook. Um, depending on the day, you know, we, we grind it at least three or four times a day. Um, on the weekends, we grind it like pretty much like hourly as we need it. If you come in here like on July 4th weekend, at 3 p.m., chances are we'll, we'll be grinding it for you, like to order. Our grinder is uh, like a 1962 or 1963 uh, Hobart three horsepower grinder uh, that we bought from a guy who uh, refurbished it um, in, where, where was our grinder from, Cincinnati? Yeah. yeah. A uh, guy that refurbished it in Cincinnati. Unlike, you know, when you, when you buy commercial ground beef that, you know, from the supermarket or whatever, that, that one burger patty can be comprised of bits of meat from, you know, 500 or 1,000 different cows. Here at the Meat Hook, we only get in uh, three to four beef uh, every week. Uh, they come directly from our uh, grass-fed, 100% grass-fed farmers uh, in upstate New York and they go to our small family slaughterhouse and then they come directly to us. So unlike, um, you know, especially burger grind places that'll do a per this percentage of short rib and this percentage of brisket, um, our trim is, is comprised of every single part of the animal. So when you're getting uh, a meat hook burger, you're getting a lot fewer animals in that grind, one, maybe two, uh, animals that are that are ground together, um, but you're getting a lot more of the pieces of the animal, which I think is, is you know uh, makes the burger like nice and complex. All right, it is burger time. The grill is on medium to low. We don't want this to flare up too much and cause any flames that really lick against the side. It's good for Burger King commercials. It's not actually good for the flavor of the meat. So just leave this alone. Go get a beer, step away from the grill, put the tools down, don't smash it, don't poke it, don't prod it. Leave it alone until it's ready to flip. Just kind of lift the corner, gently, gently ask the burger if the burger is ready to be flipped. Sing. Two, one minute. Yeah, it's almost there. It is time to flip the burgers. This guy right here, when nudged gently, holds together mostly. So I'm just gonna give him a flip. Oh. This one looks a little bit darker and smaller. They're starting to flatten out. You're, they're losing that, that donut definition. That was the idea. Yeah, right? that's the idea and how you know that it's time to turn them. Just really simple, basic rolls. I don't like to have bread overpower the burger. Let's get those warmed up. All right, so this is, I'm eating a pollock burger. A little mayo. guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're ready for burgers, head down to the meat hook, pick up some ground beef, pick up some grilling supplies from the Brooklyn Kitchen. Check out thebrooklynkitchen.com for more videos, and we'll see you soon.